happy? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just getting you, the you folk on it. You gave Richard a camera. I'm, I'm probably a disastrous move. At the Fringe Frivolous Vlogging Festival. Tell me. Thank you to Victor for um, funding this. You're very much welcome. And do you want to say a few words for the. Actually, no, I'm on camera shot. Great, and the paparazzis are out in force tonight. Why you're here? And, uh, well, because they helped organize this conference and had to come and see how it turns out. So at the moment, we're mostly concerned on the internet about digital objects. Yeah. But the world is composed of real physical objects, and there's a lot of them. I think it's Frank who said science progresses when old scientists die. Oh, I'm going to say something. Uh, my name's Naomi McAuliffe. I am actually Twitter under Naomi Mac, and my blog is called Vagina Dentata. The um, archive for the Museum of London and they have uh, the biggest archaeological archive in Europe. Uh, they have over 40 kilometers of shelving filled with boxes which have things that have been dig dug up out of the ground in London, all of which have some archaeological relevance or relevance to the way people used to live in London. How do you feel? I'm a bit nervous. I'm Martin Fenner. I'm here from Hanover, Germany. I'm a science blogger and a medical doctor and cancer researcher. And well, I'm Steffi Zoom. My blog is science behind the scenes. Um, and primarily, I blog about what goes on behind the scenes in science, that is, in science plot and in science management. With such huge, gigantic archives like this, is, there, is it desirable to put them on the internet? How do you do it? Because it's such a large archive. And even if you do decide to do it, how do you make a discrimination between things that are really worth making available to everybody on the web or things which just increase the noise of things we have to search through? Why are you here? I uh, really like the bamboo plants over there. I'm doing the interview here. Oh, no. yes. Stop. It's not very scientific though, is it? You wouldn't find a frog and a penguin in the same sort of uh, ecosystem, would you? Yeah. Why do you blog? Because I'm unbelievably narcissistic. <laughs> All of these you know, young scientists who are blogging uh, had a, uh, a really clear grasp of how an experiment should be done. <laughs> Um, this guy's coming in, Steve will have business responsibility, but all, what I want to do is try and get people to build modules that can fit inside pro social computers. Uh, so basically what we'll say is... That's really unfair. My name is Cindy Rubens. I am working for Mendeley, and I've organised this evening. Really happy about the outcome. People are really happy. Um, I used to be a scientist. I'm not an active scientist anymore. Um, and I'm, I'm very much interested in how do you how do you just make it happen? <laughs> this is what the 22 year olds are actually saying should have been done. They should have purified the solvent. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to hurry everyone into the the seating area to start the vlog. You see, the podium is the barbecue. Have nice a uh, people are so busy chatting and drinking that they're not yet uh, migrating to the chairs, but hopefully we'll get people going and it's going to be a really good conference, I hope. Let's go. Okay. Sorry? My name is Stephen Curry and my blog is Reciprocal Space on Nature Network and I blog about, well, science and protein crystallography and I like history of science. And to think about gender, to think about the way that their science impacts on gender and on women. I'm Matt Brown, I used to work at Nature and I'm, I've gone all freelance now and I do my own thing but I still <laughs> blog about science, particularly in London, I'm fascinated by London and everything in it. Go! <laughs> Who are you? You too, yeah, big into you too, as people may have seen recently. I'm Erica Kuehl and I'm a postgraduate student in Bioinformatics and Systems Biology at Imperial College. I started a blog for the purpose of actually collecting my own thoughts together and, and forcing myself to think about what I was writing and thinking about. And then some people seemed to like it, so I kept doing it. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a postdoc in astronomy at the uh, University of Leiden, so, Holland. Hi, Brian Kelly. I'm based at UConn, the University of Bath, funded by GISC to advise the higher education community. I've been blogging for almost three years at ukwebfocus.wordpress.com and it's about 
best practices, innovation and issues associated with the use of Web2 and yeah. social web, accessibility yes. and standards. <laughs> okay, I don't yes, have an um, a feminist science blog. So I take a feminist look at the way that science is reported in the media, um, and I'm, I'm at root, I'm an activist. So. This is Mo Costandi. Tell us about your blog and what you write about. Uh, brains. <laughs> And uh, I write a blog about astronomy and, and, and science and politics and uh, what people in astronomy get up to. And uh, I've kind of interested in opening up a wider scientific debate on the back of the Simon Singh case. He was about to have a session. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm organising a conference in Leiden at the end of, uh, end of November, early December, called Dot Astronomy, which is all about how people in astronomy use the internet, so a lot of it is about blogging and podcasting. This is, this is kind of meta. What kind of obligation do scientists have over the way that their um, scientific research is being misrepresented in the media? Um, I'm Erica Kuehl and my blog is Blogging the PhD Why are you doing on this? the Nature Network. Stop, cut. I'm using that, you know that, don't you? It's going quite well. People seem reasonably drunk. I'm Carmen. Hello. And what do you blog about? I blog about skeptics in the pub, and I occasionally have rants about things like political correctness and feminism. <laughs> Cameron Nayland. <laughs> Michael Habib, I'm a product manager for Elsevier. Web product scope is to collab. And I blog about library science. My blog is called Blogging the PhD and I'm blogging about the postgraduate experience in a multidisciplinary field. My interest stems from a desire to know more because I'm a humanities graduate. <laughs> I still haven't given you permission to do this. Despite my northern accent, which I still struggle with, I write about all the kind of um, science exhibitions around town, the kind of research coming out of London. <laughs> this wonderful city we've got with, I think someone once estimated there are 500,000 people who work here, who work in science and medicine in some way. It's a big city of science and I try and capture that.